Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. Welcome to my video series, The Filters of Aurora HDR 2018. In this video, we're going to take a look at the top and bottom tuning filter that's available in Aurora HDR 2018. Okay, the top and bottom tuning filter is really a graduated filter. And again, those of you that have used Lightroom know that there is a tool in Lightroom called the graduated filter. And the top and bottom tuning filter works very similarly to the graduated filter in Lightroom. Uh, but a couple little changes. And one significant thing that is different is... Let's say you're using that graduated filter in Lightroom and you apply it to the sky. Let's say you want to just increase contrast in the sky and darken the sky a little bit. Then you want to do something to the bottom of the image, assuming, of course, the sky is in the top of your image. So you want to do something in the bottom of the image. You want to maybe make it a little brighter in the bottom or something. You'd have to apply a second graduated filter. Well, the top and bottom tuning filter allows you to do the top and bottom of your image at the same time with one filter. So let me demonstrate. Here's the filter over here. You can see it's top and bottom tuning. You can see right at the top, it says top, bottom. So we could change exposure, contrast, vibrance, and warmth on the top, and then adjust it totally differently if needed for the bottom. Now, the first thing I would suggest you do when you use this filter is go down here where it says Set Orientation. And when you click there and then hover over the image, you'll see your typical graduated filter lines. And what this is is above this line and below this line, the entire effect will get added. So if you're increasing exposure, more of it will be applied above and below those outer lines. In the middle here, between the middle line and the outer lines, that's the part that gets graduated. So it's going to graduate away. So what you could do is you could adjust this several ways. You could just grab this little button here and then pull it up or down to align it to, let's say, the horizon line. If everything maybe is a little off kilter and you need to turn it, you could just come off that little button and you'll see that the cursor turns into this double arrow. And then you could click with your left mouse button and you could spin it around like that. The other thing you could do is you could increase the area where it will start to graduate by just grabbing this uh, line and you could just drag it so you'll have this graduated area larger or you could grab this line down here and do the same thing there. Now in this case, I'm just gonna pull it to roughly where the horizon line is right there. Now, once that is done and you have this adjusted and put on the image where you need it, you could come in here and adjust the four sliders. And just to demonstrate, I'm going to turn everything, I think, all the way up. And then when I come in here, you could see how the more of the effect is being applied from this line to the top. And then it starts to graduate through here. And then below the middle line, very little is being applied there and then nothing down here. Now we could go to the bottom button here, click here. Then we could take these uh, four adjustments and then we could, let's say, move those all the way down. So you could see that that is being applied one way below this line and a different way above that line. So that's what makes this filter very versatile. You could use one filter and adjust both both the top and the bottom of your image. Now I'm going to reset it by clicking on this little semicircle arrow and we'll come back in here and we'll readjust it to where I want it. And I think maybe uh, the sky might be just a tight, a tad bright. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to just pull the exposure of the sky down just a little bit. It's kind of contrasty too. So we'll take contrast of the sky just down a touch. I think vibrance is okay, but I want to warm up the sky just a little bit. Now for the bottom part of the image, we'll click on this bottom button. And I think what we'll do there is I am going to, I think exposure is okay. 
I think it's contrast okay. Vibrance is good. I think warmth, maybe we'll just cool that off just a touch, make it a little more balanced with the rest of the image. So they're very subtle adjustment for this image, but I think I have it balanced better for the sky and the buildings and the water in the foreground. It looks a little more natural. Now when you're done with the filter, just click the set orientation button and that will take away the overlay so you won't see it anymore. And then you could go on and do some other adjustments in your image with the other filters. So that's the top and bottom tuning filter in Aurora HDR 2018. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.